All right, guys, I finally found it, a room built just for me. It's full of mirrors, and it's right here at the Opera House in Bishopville. We're in your town. Stay with us. We're coming back. You know, Bishopville, South Carolina may be small in people, but it makes up in, well, say, personality. Not to mention the only uh, Heisman Trophy winner from South Carolina, Doc Blanchard, is from here. Famous jazz musician, drink small, and the button king of the world, right. Dalton Stevens. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. So you are the button king. Right. And as, as, as shown here by the, by the buttons, how does one become a button king? How did you get into buttoning? Well, if you have insomnia and need something to do at night when everybody else is going to bed, right. you'll find something, and I found buttons. <laughs> So you started sewing buttons. Yeah, I started sewing and gluing buttons. Now, uh, we talked about uh, the other day, and you see some video here. You, the first thing was a suit. You had, like, jeans and things. You made a button suit. You've got 16,333 buttons on it? Yeah. Took me two years and ten months to sew the buttons on that suit. How do you know there's 16,333 buttons on that thing, Mr. Dawn? Well, I would lay... Uh, at my table, I would lay out 25, right. and when I sew them on, I'd write it down. You'd write it down? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and then add them up. Right. That's a whole lot of math. It is. So you, uh, a while back, you were on the Johnny Carson show, you were on, on Dave Letterman, yeah. uh, you were on Geraldo Live. Let me ask you this. Is that mustache Geraldo has, is that real? Uh, I believe it is. I didn't pull it to you, find out. He didn't let you tuck the mustache? <laughs> I was hoping he might. I believe but it was good. He, I liked the Geraldo. He was is it good. nice, yes, nice fellow? Nice I fellow. Did. Hey, you can come up to Bishopville and check out and, and meet the Button King. He's got a whole button museum. You've got in there, you've got, of course, the original suit. You've got your banjo band. You've got a Chevy Chevette. You've got an entire bathroom unit, a hearse. And you have two coffins. I want to know why you have two coffins. Well, uh, the first one that I've done, I got in it one night. And uh, was going to get me a nap, and the lid fell on it, and I stayed in there for seven hours, and I told the lining up in it. So I told the funeral home, they said, well, I, I said, you just give me another, but you let me have another. He said, yeah, I'll just give you one. So he gave me that, now I'm going to be going in that. Right. So, so, so I must know. Just, I, I suppose one has comfortable bed, right? You get, you get sleepy. You decide to take a little nap. Is that? I mean, I guess it. I wonder. Right. And, and the lid <laughs> fell on it, and we did it. The lid clamped on it, and I couldn't get it out. Right. So you had to tear apart the inside. Well, I tore it up, but I did, still didn't get it out. My son let me out the next day. Good gracious, we were yeah. banging on it and knocking on uh, it and it things like that? It didn't do no good. Now, does your son also do buttons, or does he say that's his dad's thing? No, my son uh, does body work on cars, and he come by and picked up uh, tombs every morning. Right. He worked at the house. Right. And uh, he, I hollered, and he got me. Just like that. Uh, well, yeah. I'm glad he came and got you, for sure. Right. You'd be, otherwise, the inside would be all buttoned up, right? That's right. Real quick, your museum is free to the public. Come in and, and meet you and see all these things that are buttoned. Uh, here. Free, free to, to the public. All I do is uh, donations, and if they don't have it, they don't give it. There you go. <laughs> Just like that. We're going to put links for your watch doc on to Bishopville. And, of course, Dalton Stevens, the button king, my friend. Thank you so much. You keep on. You button on, my friend. Uh, I'm going to do that. Stay buttoning. Just like that. <laughs> Guys, we are live and local in your town, Bishopville. South Carolina State with us. We're coming back. I like that's a pretty button. Wait a minute, I'm missing one. Can I just borrow that? <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Good Day Columbia. We are live and local this morning in Bishopville, South Carolina, Lee County, as a matter of fact. A great little spot in your town, exploring some of the great little things in the areas that make up, well, the Midlands and beyond here in South Carolina. Of course, we just met with, with Dalton Stevens, a button man, who yeah. is awesome, by the he way. Is. When you get done checking buttons out, though, and you feel like getting outside, getting some exercise, you can go over to the Lee State Park. Harry Haffer, I say Hafer, that right? Hafer. Hafer. Hafer, there you go. You were, you were like the, the chief out there, the chief uh, the park manager. Park manager. Park manager. I don't know what they're called. Let me have first questions first. Okay. Do you have any issues with pick and neck baskets missing? No. Okay. No. Just no pick and neck it. baskets. No yogis. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Good. Well, Not, even a, yes. Not even a boo boo. Not even a boo boo. Not even a boo boo. Well, we got to work on that. It's a boo boo. You yeah. can apply for that job. Yeah. They're hiring. All right. So, right. what kind of stuff happens out at the state park? Well, uh, we have about 2,300 acres, as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, borders the Lynch's River, and it's a great opportunity to come out, hike, sure. fish. Uh, we have a, our swimming holes open during the summer. Uh, a little cold right, right now. You, little, yeah, a little cold right now. <laughs> All right. But, All right. Uh, it usually opens in early May and runs to about the end of September. Sure. Uh, we have 48 campsites that are available. Oh, wow. um, what's the cost to do some of this? I was wondering. I mean, the park look, opens at nine, but what's the cost if you want to if you want to hike or or maybe even do an overnight okay. camp? Uh, it's already free. It's always free. It, 
but free? Can't, yes. <laughs> free, free, yes. I love yes. that word. All right, go ahead. We, we do have donation boxes, but sure. it does not cost sure. you anything to come in the well, park. How is it and funded? Use it. Is it funded because it's a state park? Is it funded through uh, the state of South Carolina then? Yes. Okay. In, in part, but it also, uh, we do charge for camping, uh, okay. to rent our picnic shelters, things like that. Okay. And the, how much that do you money goes for camping? If goes, I want to bring out a sleeping bag and a, you know, a, 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 I don't know, a, a soda or something. Okay. All our campsites have electric and water on them, so they're oh, set wow. up to handle RVs. So you bring a mini fridge then? Yeah, you can bring whatever you want along with you, um, and within reason. <laughs> <laughs> See, ladies, we call that glamping, <clears throat> Brett right. and Lauren, glamping. You go right. ahead and, and glamping. we are a pet-friendly park as long Excellent. as they're on leashes. Sure. Uh, it costs about $18 uh, for our 30-amp sites, and then we also have 50-amp right. sites that run a little over $21 a and night. And that's, that's for the 21 bucks for the night. So right. if you've got a camera, that's a, that's a lot even better than the than Motel 6 or Super 8. That's absolutely correct. I'll say about that. So you guys are open at 9, open till dusk every day? That's correct. All right. Talk real quick about safety, because I know you guys, you have a great team of rangers, folks right. out there, it's, it's a pretty safe environment, right? It is a safe environment. I mean, there are critters that live there. We have sure. over 119 sure. uh, varieties of birds there, right. um, and if you don't see a deer around the edge of day, the day, you're not really looking hard. Uh, <laughs> Tons of squirrels and um, a mess of them. And uh, we also have otters in our in our lakes. Uh, a lot of cool. So just uh, nature, wildlife. nature at its best, right here in Lee County. And one of the one of the big uh, features that we have there is we have seven miles of equestrian trails, a oh, riding wow. rink, stables, yeah, that and I love. we are very very horse friendly. Um, 23 of our sites are set up mm -hmm. uh, for equestrian use. The Perfect. Regular people can use them. To, people without horses can use them too. <laughs> regular people, regular people horses. without horses. People with two legs, not right. four. Yes. All right, I'm sir. To use them at all. I appreciate yeah. everything you hear in the county. Lee County. Uh, Lee County. Uh, Park. There we go. Yeah. Get that out there. I'm going to put links for you um, at watch.com and also go over there and check out me over this way. You can go out and hike. It's a great right. day trip. It's a half hour. Yeah. Get over here, hike, and have fun. Any questions? 803-428-5307. Hey, guys. We are in your town. We're in Bishopville, South Carolina. Stay with us. We're coming back live and local. You guys, over the last month or so, we've uh, been all around the Midlands exploring some of the coolest little areas the Midlands has to offer. And every single one of them has got some very unique, very cool, one-of-a-kind things. Of course, the button man here in Bishopville, South Carolina. Something else about Bishopville that I just learned from Miss Gina from the chamber, there's a full-service gas station down here still. There is. It's Morrow um, Oil Company. Right. And you pull in, and they will pump your gas for you. You don't have to get out. You don't have to put your credit card in. You sit there, put the, it's like ordering a Big Mac, right? They actually don't even take credit cards. Just like that. Okay. <laughs> Bring out the Benjamins. Exactly. Yes. Bishop County, uh, you have Bishop County, uh, I'm sorry, Lee County, mm -hmm. Chair of Commerce here in Bishopville, the county seat yes. here for the county. Uh, there's a lot of great things happening, though. The Chamber just came back. You took a year off. Yes. Down for a year, retooled, kind of reinvented yourselves. We did. And hit the ground running in, in 14. Yes, we reopened in January of 14. I came on as the new executive director. Mm -hmm. And we started out, we had no members, and we're up to 67 members as of this morning. 66? until the button man who joined this morning. Yes. Dalton Stephen joined this morning, so um, 67. But we're moving forward doing very positive things with the mm -hmm. community. Our chamber membership isn't only open to businesses, it's open right. to churches, um, individuals, anyone from, you know, the person walking down the street to the large corporation. Sure. So we, we have a lot going on. Obviously, we do the events um, in town, the Cotton Festival and Christmas Parade, but we're really working with the city and the county to expand businesses. We okay. want to help the businesses we have in town, but also try to bring new businesses in. Why? What makes Bishopville, you know, a great spot for businesses, people who want to maybe say, I want to start my own business or maybe come here? Well, location obviously is the first one because we're right in the center between Hartsville, Columbia, Sumter, Florence. Sure. We're a good location. Um, also, low cost and rent for buildings right. compared to some other counties and some other cities. And the community involvement here, the community is just wonderful. Everyone right. here is very supportive, and we work together to try to make things happen in town. That's great. So Chamber of Commerce here, Lee County Chamber in uh, in the county seat, Bishopville, South Carolina. If you want to explore that, if you're from the community, certainly you can take a look at joining membership for the chamber, what the chamber can do to grow business. Great spot. If you want to open up a store, create a business, this might be your new spot here for sure. we put links for you uh, to the chamber and everything else here in Bishopville this morning. We've got a lot more to do. We're talking about a museum that celebrates cotton and veterans. Yes. Plus, we're going to talk more to the City Fathers. Oh, and across the street is the Opera House. We're going to talk about that as well. We've got a big morning ahead of us here as we are in your town, Bishopville, South Carolina. Stay with us. All right, guys, we are in your town this morning. That is, of course, if you're from Bishopville or Lee County, Bishopville being the, the county seat of, uh, of Lee County here. We are alive and local all this morning, meeting some, uh, some great areas, some great people who make up the community, including Jansen Cox. You are the curator, the president, I guess, of the South Carolina State Cotton Museum. 
That's correct. In that the Lee County so Veterans Museum. That's we and that was a hidden museum. gem, and I didn't even know that was coming. That was a, that was a beautiful surprise right. too. But let's talk, uh, first, let's focus on the Cotton Museum just for a bit, because I mean, obviously, Cotton has a rich history in the South, and specifically right. South Carolina for sure. But you've got a lot of great artifacts in there. We have a really outstanding collection. Cotton right. Incorporated out Memphis says we are the premier cotton museum in the nation. Wow. Wow. That's what they say. Sure. So, uh, <laughs> hey, look, they're saying it. You might as well keep it that that's way, right? right. <laughs> and uh, they say it's because of the educational programs right. we offer, the artifacts. Um, our library, our archives, all of this builds into a total complex. Sure, and, and it, it's a really nice piece. And in fact, even the horse, the horse that, uh, where, where the horse used to be? You told me that. It's a mule. The it mule. used to be in Taps Department horse, Store. Horse, mule, whatever. It was so, in Taps, that's yep. right. It was made in 1942. <laughs> right. And almost every child in Columbia that grew up there in the 40s and 50s sat on Francis the Talking Mule. Francis the Talking Mule right here at the uh, the Cotton Museum in Bishopville. Real quick, and it's, it's like I said, a lot of great artifacts, a lot of uh, authentic pieces of equipment that were actually used in, you know, in the production of, of cotton yes. through the years. But the other, the hidden gem that I didn't know about, and um, I'm so happy I, I learned, was the Veterans Museum sitting here as well. Yes, we formed that three years ago. Mm -hmm. Many communities have forgotten their heroes. Right. And our first step was the, uh, bringing Doc Blanchard back to the, back to the community. Yeah. So we have a Doc Blanchard statue. Uh, the only Heisman winner, uh, by the way, from, from, South, from Carolina. South Carolina. A lot of artifacts we got to go, but a lot of artifacts, a lot of great uh, uniforms, authentic uniforms, and a way to remember our heroes right here. Right here. And including the Medal of Honor winner in South Carolina. I'm going to put links for the museum and uh, for both museums, actually, right over to Jansen. Right. Great, great, awesome place. Thank you so much for sharing that with us Thank as you well. for being with us. Make sure you check that out. It's the South Carolina the Cotton Museum and the Veterans Museum right here in Bishopville. Stay with us. We're not done yet. We're going to spend the morning here. It's chilly. Are you cold yet? No. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming back. Well, guys, we are live and local this morning in your town, Bishopville, South Carolina, checking out the town, meeting some of the town's folks, make up this great community. Shout out to Jansen Cox, by the way, over at the Cotton Museum and Veterans Museum. Hook me up with one of these really cool scarves. It is an authentic merchant seaman scarf, because the other one he said wasn't good enough, so here we go, get this here. <laughs> anyway, Zach Midland, you're actually with the Opera House. That's right, Lee County Arts Lee, Council. Lee County Opera. Arts House and uh, County and Opera House. There we yeah, go. Lee County Arts Council with the Bishop Opera House. I'm yeah. freezing. I'm not I can't even try to say that again for sure. <laughs> the Opera House, of course, uh, used to be a courthouse back in the day, mm -hmm. and then it did a few other things. It was like a dance hall or whatever, and then all of a sudden, you guys in 88, you renovated the whole thing. Yeah, and after Hugo in 89, it began a lot of renovations, okay. and uh, it's been there ever since, and a lot of volunteers, and we have a lot of events right. there, so it's good for the community. It's uh, really a meeting place for a lot of things. It, and it's a great facility, beautiful hardwood floors. I mean, just like, I guess, mm -hmm. I guess you'd think of a building that was created in the 1800s or so. Oh, yeah, so still got that. What kind of stuff do people experience when they go in there? Well, it's good. We've got, we have uh, art, ex artist exhibits right. downstairs. We've got uh, concerts upstairs. We've got some concerts coming up in January. Uh, we've got, Who's your uh, favorite? Who's your favorite concert been through town? Uh, we have Elizabeth Von, uh, Tr Von Trapp. Okay. Patrick Ooh. Davis. My buddy Patrick Davis I is love coming Patrick in January. Davis. I, actually, I did hear that. I did yeah. hear that. He's and we've a got great uh, dude. Lee County Dancing with the Stars is going to be there Are you January dancing? 17th. I actually am. Are one you? last Can year. I see one? Go ahead. No, no. I, I see, see. I'll little... dip you. I, <laughs> I do not. I do not, Zach. <laughs> no, I do not. I do okay, not I just, you, just check it. Yeah, Zach yeah. Midland, to, to dip me. No, I do not. <laughs> but uh, the, the actual facility is available to rent as well, which is kind of a cool, unique yeah, thing of the because yeah. it it's owned by the county but privately funded. Is that That's is that correct. about right? We're all volunteer. We've got two paid there. We got okay. a custodian and we've got a, a Jennifer Floyd who works the front office. We met her yeah. the other day when yeah. we were here checking out Bishopville. She's amazing. But if you want to have a family get together there, if you want to have a wedding or wedding reception, it's all available to the public. Right. Yeah. And, and you know what I love it, especially these small towns too, is the history that's here. So yeah. you know that was a courthouse back two hundred. 150 years ago, yeah. and it's been it's had several lives, and it's got this new life as the Opera House. Yeah, it was Player and Hancock uh, Furniture Store. I bought my first guitar. It came from right across <laughs> did, there. Did yeah. you really? Still have it. Did yeah, you really? Guitar. Yeah. What do you play? Just, just regular 12-string, 6-string? Yeah, just 6-string folk acoustic guitar. Any Bon Jovi at all? Uh, no, not a lot of Bon Jovi. All right. <laughs> 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 Zach Midland here from the uh, Opera House right here in Lee County in Bishopville. Get details for you at watch.com over there. A great venue. Come on by. You can see some of the history. Walk in. Take a little tour of the pictures and the great gallery that's there as well. Just one of the awesome things that make up this fantastic community in Lee County. About 35 minutes from downtown Columbia. We're in your backyard. How about that? Man, I really appreciate everything. Yes, Guys, sir. stay with us. We're going to yeah. continue on live on a chilly, chilly Thursday morning in Bishopville.
morning going live here in local in Bishopville, South Carolina, meeting some of the, the folks who make up the fabric of the community, all the way from, from the button man. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him. Uh, all the way down to, to Jansen and Zach and Miss Gina, who will make up the chamber and the opera house and, of course, the museums in town. And it's just such a great little community. And, uh, sir, Trav Travis Wyndham, you are the county chairman for the county council. Is that that's is correct? That fair and accurate to say? Yes. There you go. And, you're, of course, you're from here, born and bred, been on yes. the, uh, been a well, politician, as they say, but representing the, the county for 20 years. Correct. So, really, you've got a vested interest in this community. Yes. Well, not only that, um, I have an insurance agency here, mm -hmm. which you've been in for over 40 years. Right. And my son, after he graduated in Clemson in 2010, he came in with me. We formed a partnership. Right. And that's why I've continuously uh, uh, have an uh, interest in the, in the county and the city for sure. everything to move forward and to continue to work with the folks in the county. Right. What, what are you looking for when you, you look at, uh, you know, say, you know, the, the county chair looking for the economic viability? We talked to Gina from the chamber wanting businesses to say, look, here's Main Street, historic district, things like that. You look at it county level but why should people be excited about Lee County what's happening here that you're like man this is why I'm here this is it right yes uh, the, the, the quality of life um the, the, the folks are very friendly, uh, and of course, this is a big asset for the state of South Carolina as far as our weather. Right. Uh, I mean, it's cold today. That's good. But, but it's we a little were, chilly but today. But if we were in Wisconsin or Vermont, <laughs> we would have a problem. I just Fair got enough. back from a hunting trip in Michigan, so I really, when I go up there, I appreciate South Carolina. Yeah. But uh, I think the folks here work together. We're very fortunate uh, to have a, a viable chamber now. The uh, Opera House, the Cot Museum, right. the Veterans Museum, and all this is part of the puzzle to make a community continue to grow. Sure. So, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, we, we continue to work together right. to recruit industry. The primary purpose of, uh, of a county government, in my opinion, is to have a safe environment for our folks. And secondly, <clears throat> in my opinion, it is to recruit industry, mm -hmm. to uh, produce jobs, and uh, a better quality of life. And the good qualities right here in, in uh, Lee County, Bishopville, the county seat as well. You've got, a, you've got a great community here, Councilman. I really appreciate everything. And the, the folks here have been awesome to work with this morning. And uh, I definitely come back and, and to do it again. So, okay. Thank you for coming. Councilman, thank you very much. Thank Councilman Wyndham here, uh, the county council in Lee County. Guys, and put links for you to everything you've seen this morning at watch.com. Thank you to everybody who's watched and, uh, and been a part of the broadcast this morning. An awesome little community right here in your town.